I decided to show you guys how to use the uh, Touch Mods Zip VoIP application, which lets you use your iPod Touch as a cell phone. And that's pretty cool. Uh, the first thing you have to do is open up your favorite internet browser. As you can see, I already did. And go to this site. I'll put it in the description of the video. It is Touch Mods dot net so go to this site now the first thing you have to do the iPod touch does not have a built-in microphone so what you have to do is just hit this big order a mic button up at the top and you can choose your color black or white and buy a microphone here is mine I already purchased mine. So now I'm going to show you how to set up this application. Let me just set that down. Okay, so first thing you got to do, over on the right hand side of this web page, you to scroll down a little more. Keep scrolling until it says Touch Mods Repository. I don't know if you can see, but uh, and right here it has the source at which you will get this program. So, first take your iPod and turn it on. Sorry that I turned my camera off. I'm just trying to save battery life here and there. Okay, so once you're in, tap the installer icon. As you can see, I put in my dock using the wiggle icons feature. And once you're in, go to sources then up at the top, tap edit, and then at the top left, hit add. And the source, as I said, is right there. So I'm going to type this in real quick. Okay, now once you've typed in the .xml at the end, the iPod Touch's autocorrect feature is going to try and capitalize it. Make sure you hit the capitalized XML thing just make sure that it doesn't do that and then hit OK and installer will refresh your sources so wait for installer to refresh okay and then just tap done at the top I'm going to go to install scroll down until you see touch mods hit it and then tap touch mods Zip VoIP, hit install, and install that. Okay, and once it finishes, just hit the home button. It'll do its thing. And once you get to the slide to unlock screen, hold down your power switch because we have to turn off. Okay, so once it turns off, just turn back on like I did here. Again, sorry, trying to save battery life. And scroll over. I don't know where it'll be on yours, but just keep scrolling until you find it. It's got a little blue icon. It says SIP slash VoIP. So tap that. Okay. Oh, and this is actually a major point. It's a little bug with it. You have to have your headphones plugged in. As you can see here, I don't. So hold on, let me plug those in real quick. Alrighty, I've got my headphones back in, as you can see. And so the next thing you're going to do is take your mic and plug it in. As you can see, the mic is its really small, it just slides into the bottom of your iPod. Really easy to use. Okay, so just uh, put your iPod to sleep and just set it to the side for now. So this is the next thing you can do. Go back to your computer and go to freecall.com or if you search around there are lots and lots of different sites you can go to. I like freecall. Okay, let me hit the back button right here. Back to on this page on the right hand side if you scroll down. It's got a list right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Of all the different sites that you can use. I like free call because it's free 
to lots of countries, including the United States. So, just go to free call, and you'll see this. Just hit click here for freecall.com. And I've already done this, but you have to download either if you're on Windows, then hit the download Windows. If you're on a Mac or a Linux, then just click here. So you have to download this software. I've already downloaded it, so uh, I'm not going to show you that. But uh, once you download, and then once you open up the application, once it's done downloading, it's going to ask you to create an account. So just sign up for the account, because you have to have an account for this to work. Now, once you've got said account, then go back to this page again and scroll till you get to this link. And the first one there is going to be SIP settings. So just click it. And here you'll see a list of all the different sites that you could have gone to to set up your account and then a bunch of settings to the side. Now I went to free call, so there's free call. So, go back to your iPod. And wake it up, slide to mock. And tap zip VoIP again. And then in the bottom, tap the settings button. And then, as you can see, I've already got it set up here, but you won't. So, username and password, those are what you signed up with on the free call application. Now, for your SIP server, it says right there, go to this page and look at it. If you see freecall.com, it's sip.voiparound.com, which I already have plugged in. Now, I don't need NAT, as you can see here. If you need NAT, it'll say. I don't think there really are any, but it says enable NAT. Just by default, that'll be on no. Just leave it like that, unless it says differently here. And then, for reg timeout, for free call, you can put two. Either one of these with a question mark at the end. I always use 1800. It's always worked fine for me. So, I use reg timeout 1800. And then the rest, again, it might tell you to put something. It doesn't for free call. So, once you're done punching in all your settings, just hit save, and it'll say, okay, settings are saved. Then go to dial on the bottom, and hit connect to SIP server. And once the call button appears there, that means you're connected. Now, to make a call to the USA, which is where I live, you're going to type in zero zero you have to start all your uh, calls with zero zero followed by the country code if you don't know your country code just google it the country code for the united states is one followed by any phone number sorry about that people keep barging into my room but anyway i'm not going to punch in my phone number or i'm not going to let you guys see anyway cause i don't want you all calling me but I'll put my camera down real quick and punch it in. And I'm going to hit call. And here, phone number censored. And I don't know if you can hear, but my phone is now ringing. Let's see if anyone in this house will pick it up. Okay, and you guys couldn't hear just because I had my headphones in my ears and not in the camera, but. It did work. My mom answered. So just, once you're done, just hit disconnect. And then quit. And that is how you can use your uh, iPod as a cell phone. It's very nice, because I tend to be in Wi-Fi, so it's like having an iPhone, only saving lots of cash. My next video is probably going to be showing you how to set up this application. It's called Categories. What it lets you do is, instead of having a, like, I used to have five pages or so of icons, and I condensed it down to three because using the categories application there's just a button here that says games I can just click on it and there's all my games 